Okay, this is just going to be a relatively brief video. Uh, I'm going to show, <clears throat> uh, this is the 80 kilovolt meter, I'm going to disconnect that. Okay. It's disconnected. So I've only got this one high voltage meter now. This side's being treated as the one that goes more positive, but it's a positive. And this is the other positive, which is being treated as the one that goes less positive, aka negative. Uh, the meter is negative end, which is this other wire is connected up to the positive on this side, while the positive end is connected to the positive on this side. Both <coughs> positives are getting 50,000 volts, right around 50,000 volts, when it hits the first resonant state. Uh, and at that point, you can actually see that there's a relative potential difference that develops because of the particular placement. Because the top plate is eight and a half inches. There's a point in there, right? But the top plate's eight and a half inches above the bottom plate. The top plate goes to this side. Bottom plate goes to that side. So it's got an eight and a half inch gap that's contained in just a what is that? A four inch tube. <coughs> Very accurate, so you can get an idea of what goes on. This thing. There we go. All right, let's see. That pulse you saw was the initial flip into the first resonance state. It settles at about 5,000 volts difference of potential between the electrodes up here. But that 5,000 volts of difference of potential is between two electrodes that are already at 40,000 plus volts DC positive potential on either side. Which means one's got to be like 48 and the other one's got to be like 43,000 volts right between there. And that's what's generating this 5,000 volt offset. This is having cranked it up to the roughly the 30 kilovolt mark up here. Alright, first resonance state. This is the input. Voltage and amperage. 120 VAC range. Uh, and then let me just go ahead and show you that we're going to crank it from here to the 195 mark and we'll show that the increase here causes that relative difference of potential to get nulled out so that both positives are at the same potential. And there's no further any difference or skew in that potential. been cranked from there to here and then the continued increasing this will cause an inversion it will cause an inversion in the circuit where the right side here will then go as a negative to the positive of this side because that meter then has reversed its, its output reading meaning it goes from the zero mark into a negative point which implies that the right side is now it's negative and the right left side has become its positive which is why it went negative Pip is, of course, strongly being drawn to the total negative. You see it's sticking to the green lead over there on top of the meter. Yeah, it's just kind of being lightly pushed away. Anyway, once I get a variac on the other side, I'll be able to control that difference of potential so that even when it's at a zero state like it is right now, I can then offset the other side, and whatever's within that field should then 
draw a particular current. I mean, the current's going to result because it's within an ionized field, and that, that thing in the field is a conductor within the field, so whatever's there should then conduct and draw a current, assuming it's being able to be shorted out. So it's going to have to first take the charge, but then it's going to need to short. So some kind of an antenna system probably to draw out the charge from the, the area, and then a short to discharge, and then it should reset. Be a pump type function maybe. Sorry, just thinking out loud. Anyway, it's interesting, isn't it? That's with no difference on there and no meter connected. If that meter's on there, it's connected to the top side or the bottom side of the two positives, and I put it into a short distance where there's a gap there. Uh, that relative potential that's measured between the two sides can be about 20,000 volts, and that's with allowing uh, about a 500 microamp current, which is what that meter allows for to pass through it to one side or the other when it's close enough to arc, which is a couple millimeters. So that's also interesting.